Canterbury Sales Company. And these are the horses. Number one, Speak. Red Schroeder Jr., Robert Schnook of Evansville, Indiana. Charlie Conrad trains and drives the one. Speak. Number two, Ain't No Bodies Fool. Roll the dice table, Wilmington, Delaware. Joe Holloway trains, Jack Moiseev on the two. Ain't No Bodies Fool. Number three, I Scoot Hanover. Nick Barbieri, Ohio. Brian Pinsky trains. John Campbell drives the three. I scoot Hanover. Number four, Captain's License. Michael Brim, Richmond, Virginia. David Sabatelli drinks. David Miller, the four, Captain's License. Number five, Regent Hall. Hoffler Brothers Stable, Sunbury, North Carolina. Bruce Walls trains. Jeff Fout, the five, Regent Hall. Six horse, Image of Jade. Lewis and Marshall Field, Roger Dills, Michigan. Robert Stiles Jr. trains George Brennan on the six, Image of Jade. The seven, Riches Hanover. Robert Waxman, Lancaster, Ontario. Bob McIntosh trains. Mike Lachance, the seven, Riches Hanover. Number eight, Stratagem. Jack Darling Stables, Daniel Smith of Ontario. Jack Darling trains. Chris Chris Dorfu. The driver of the eight, Stratagem. And we're nine, False Alarm. Sam Street Stables, Pennsylvania, Norman Smiley, Florida. Jerry Silverman trains. Luke Willett in the sulky of the nine, False Alarm. Standard bread, two year old Colton Gelding Pacers moving in behind the starting gate. The gate swings into the stretch, and here they come. Second, getting away on the inside. Speak, moving up on the outside as they race into the turn. That's Riches Hanover. Now third, now second, and going after the leader. High Scoot Hanover. Down the backside they go. High Scoot Hanover. Riches Hanover up on the outside. Takes the lead. Hurry, sink third. Ain't nobody's fool. Hope. But in quarter 27 and one. He into the turn, racing fourth. Speak as he race around the turn. Racing fifth, false alarm. Pacing sixth on the inside. Captain's license coming to the outside seventh. As he race over the three eighths, it's Regent Hall. Racing eighth on the inside. Image of Jake. Treading the field. Stratagem coming to the halfway point. Riches hand over the leader. Halfway home. 56 and 1. Second quarter at 29. Speed on the outside second. High scoot Hanover racing third. Up on the outside. That's false alarm. Now fourth coming on. Ain't nobody's fool. Racing fifth. Six is captain's license. Seventh to the outside. Go on to the backside. Regent Hall. Three wide on the outside. Image of Jake at the three quarter mark. One, 24 and three. 28 and two. Third quarter. Around the final turn. Riches Hanover has the lead. I scoot Hanover looking for daylight. And Campbell's going to get it in just a second. Comes to the outside. Eighth of a mile to go. Riches Hanover. Here comes I scoot Hanover. Down the stretch. Riches Hanover on the inside. I scoot Hanover on the outside. No support. I scoot Hanover. One. 53 and one. Wow, that is a fantastic mile. Into the winner's circle. Rewriting the record books in harness racing for two year olds on a half mile track. I scoot Hanover, Nick Barberia, Ohio, Brian Pinsky, Turing's, John Campbell's seventh win of the week, his 111th lifetime career victory here. Two year old Colby J. Lobel, the last part goal. Lifetime mark, 153 and one. Final half, 57. Final quarter, 28 and three. National season's record, track record.
stakes record and world record performance. I scoot Hanover, 153 and one for two in a row in Ohio. So our uh, third world record of the week, we had a couple back on Sunday with, uh, he's nifty for uh, aged uh, gelding trotters. And then of course, uh, jet log, the fastest mile ever on a half mile track. And right here, I scoot Hanover the fastest mile ever by a two-year-old on a half-mile track, returning uh, $4.50.